Patch chat. I right, look, this is what happened. So you know, it's one o'clock p.m. One p.m. I just did four thirty to one p.m. Just waking up in the just morning. Just waking up in the morning. Thank God I don't know. Thank God I don't know. But today know. seems kind of no seems barking from the dog. No barking no from the dog. Mama no smog and mama cooked breakfast with no breakfast with no. Why the fuck does that shit still echo? What's good, skill? What's good, uh, Keen? So, anyways, where was I? Hey, I miss you. What's good, Kayla? So, anyways, four thirty to one p.m. It's finally one p.m. I'm like, I bet it's a nice ass day too. It's a nice ass daylight. Tell you know it was mad cold. It was snowing. It was raining. But for some reason, that Thursday was a nice day. Everybody was doing good. My bets was hitting. My money was getting, feel me? My money wasn't funny. Uh, My girl, y'all yeah, know she be having a uh, goddamn, she be feeling sick sometimes because of the pregnancy. She was perfectly fine. She was up and about. So I got the whip. I'm leaving work. I'm like, all right, I'm going to do something nice. I'm going to get my girl some, some, some Chipotle, nigga. I'm going to, damn, I missed it. My computer tripping. No barking from the dogs. Nigga, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Uh, damn. So I say, right, I'm about to get some Chipotle for my girl. She had Chipotle fiend. She's been talking about it. And low key, I want some too. So I'm driving that. Remember, I haven't drove in a minute. Not like a long minute, but I just haven't been driving like that. I've just been taking mad Ubers. So I'm driving. And I'm taking a route I never took before. And I'm just like, what the fuck? You know, feel me? I'm on the how. I'm on. I don't think I was on how. I was like on a little turn pack, little road, whatever the fuck it was. I'm chilling, I'm chilling. I get to Chipotle, order my food, order our food. Boom. Feel me? Throw some goddamn chicken rice in a bowl, burrito bowl. We already know what I'm talking about. I got some steak in that shit too. I was hungry, nigga, up since 4.30. Well, 3.30. Go back in the car. I'm driving, I'm driving, I'm driving. You got insurance yet? The story, nigga, how did you miss the story? If you see, if you hear me talking about the story. So listen, I go all the way back home. I make it home perfectly fine. I, I, I'm chilling. I make it home perfectly fine, nigga. You know, feel me? Parked the car, went upstairs, ate, ate good, watched a little. I don't what we watched. I don't even know what the fuck we watched. Probably Attack on Titan or some shit. Who knows? Perfectly fine. I bet. It's getting around that time. It's like three o'clock, two, like a little bit before three, whatever. It's time to pick up my little sister. <sighs> this is where it just all goes downhill. Sound like a good day? Yeah, it was an amazing day. Oh, yeah, mind you, Sasha, I kept saying, I was like, wow. On God, I kept saying this. I kept saying, like, wow, why the fuck is it such a good day? Making mad money. Work was easy. Ate good. Like, I mean, it's beautiful. Because for me, I love when the weather is just beautiful and I'm driving. It just feels so good. Listen to you. I don't know, cruising. It just feels so good. I kept saying that it's a good day like five times. I jinxed that bitch. Listen, I go to pick up my little sister. I go get her, right? Usually, I haven't picked up my little sister in like two months because of my work schedule. Usually, she has this friend that comes with us and I have to drive her home and then drive us home. So, the way I would go to take a friend home is like a it's like a cool way. It's like safe and shit. It got stoplights and all that. Like, it's never no trouble. But the way I... But her friend wasn't there or whatever. I don't know what, what the issue is. I don't know if they still friends. I don't know if she... Feel me? I don't know nothing about that. But just know it was me and my sister. So, the way I go with me and my sister is... It's this road where it's just like, I don't know, like, the traffic is always weird. Nigga, cars don't know how to drive. Like, it's just always some bullshit, bro. I literally almost got in a car accident before in that same area. And even my mom was like, mom was saying she don't like taking that area. So I'm just like, all right, cool. Sounds, oh, anyways. So I was like, all right, cool. We on our way back home. You know me? I'm listening to my ESPN on the goddamn phone and shit like that. I'm dry. It's traffic, mind you, so I can't even get free to speed, go fast, nothing. There's a goddamn big ass special ed uh 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 yellow cheese bus to my right, but I'm still seeing what I gotta see. So I'm driving. I finally get loose. You was driving a truck? Nah, like a uh. Just look up Chevy Equinox. I don't know. That's not really a truck, but it's not no little shit. What's good, Big J? I'm gonna listen to your song later. Yellow cheese bus, yeah, it was a cheese bus. So I finally get freed up. So I'm like, I'm put the, I'm put the, I'm put a little gas on it. But I wasn't going fast. The speed limit was 25, and we still in the square area. I was probably going like 19 to 20 because I literally just got free of the traffic. Bro, I'm driving. Now I see a fucking. I don't even see what type of cars. All I see is something in front of me. Just <sighs> boom, nigga. So this is the, this is the look. I'm going straight, and this is the car coming from the right. So it was just like. 
Damn, I look stupid. How the fuck do you do this? How do you how do you demonstrate this? So I'm going straight, straight, and this is the car coming right. Boom, nigga! Like, well, just imagine in your motherfucking head. So the front of my car, head on, yeah. So the front of my car, you are stupid. Shut the fuck up. Put the pedal to the metal. Hello, Yami. I am here now. What's good? What's good? What's good? Um, so yeah. So the front of my car, it's the side of her car. And I didn't even know who it was at first for me. Just know my car hit her car. But she didn't stop at the uh the stop sign. She could have stopped at the stop sign. I wouldn't even fucking know. But I had to right away at the time because of the way, you know, if you know anything about driving, there's a stop sign here. You got to wait to see if it's clear or not. And it wasn't clear, nigga. It was me and the school bus coming through the motherfucker. And it said, boom, nigga. All I know is, Poosh. nigga, I had my neck jerked back, nigga. I look to my right. My sister is just in shock. I'm just like, what the fuck? Did I really just get into a car with somebody? So, anyways. Bro, turn that shit down. I hear myself saying, boom. <laughs> but, anyways. Yeah, so all I know is the airbags come smack me in the face, nigga. I see the airbags smacking her in the face. My seatbelt on, I'm like, oh, nah, I got to get the fuck. I see the front of the car smoking. I'm like, oh, this shit about to blow up. So, I feel me? I take my seatbelt off. I ask my sister, you all right? Get the fuck out the car. Get out. You all right? Get out the car. She got out the car. I got out the car. I came around, checked if she's all right. Checked the top, bottom, nigga. I said, all right, she's good. But I don't know if she's really good or not because, remember, it's adrenaline. Bro, and I'm just calling my mom like, yo, what am I going to do? What's really about to happen? Like, what the fuck? I wasn't even thinking about the other motherfucking car. I didn't even care about them at first. Because I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I'm just in shock. I never got to. The only car accident I ever got into was when I was like fucking like, I don't know, like seven, eight years old or some shit. I was a little kid. Like, this is time. Like, I'm a grown ass. Like, what the fuck do I do, nigga? So anyways, once, once the shock wears off, I go check on the other people. I realize there's kids over there and, and goddamn, it's an old lady driving. So I go over there, I try to help out the car and shit like that. Imagine there's a dent in their side of they, it's a dent on the left side of their car. And then their left side airbags came out. So feel me? I'm helping them out the car. I'm just like, damn, it's really an old lady and some little kids in here. Imagine if I would have killed them. Like, imagine if I would have died, first of all. But I'm talking about, like, because they just way more fragile than us. It's an old lady and little kids. They just wild fragile. So anything could have happened. But they, they they barely had impact in their shit. Like, most of the impact was in our vehicle. Like, we felt that shit. Like, my neck is hurting to this day, nigga. I got tightness in my back. My sister's stomach was hurting. The, uh, the windshield on my on her, my sister's side, it cracked. Um, Matter of fact, let me send you some. Let me get footage and videos. Let me get footage and videos. Let me make this story time lit, nigga. Feel me? It's cracked on the right side. The goddamn bumper is hanging off like a goddamn fat ass lip. Like, look, it's hanging lopsided like that. So I go over there, help. She was like, You the one who hit me? I was like, Well, you ran the stop sign, bitch. I'm, nah, I'm joking. But <laughs> I was like, Feel me? But we were just glad we was all okay type shit. Feel me? She wanted to call the cops, though. Now, mind you, chat. Cops is crazy. I'm a young black man driving and shit. Feel me? This is why you get banned. If they died, I would have not cared. Like, what are you even talking about, bro? Like, never trust a good day, good day on God. Isn't this the second time you almost died because of car problems? Um, I don't remember any other time. Fuck an ad about batteries. Did she get in trouble? Hold on, hold on, hold on. That will low-key make me feel 10 times worse. Wait, what? Let me send pictures. Let me send pictures before we get into it. Feel me? I can bring it up on stream and all that. Let me see some. Let's see what I got. Feel me? Damn, sending shit is mad hard. Hold on, chat. Okay, here, okay. I got a little, I got a little sign. All right. All right, so anyways, what was I? Oh, yeah, so the old lady and the kids, I, she wanted to call the cops, but you know, like, for me, young black nigga, and I ain't, I ain't got a lot. For me, I got a permit and all that, so it's like, damn, I don't even want these niggas to come, bro. Yo, why the cops pulled up? It was like one cop pulled up after, like, 20 minutes. One cop pulled up, it's freezing outside. All I got is fucking flip-flops on my, my 
toes are falling off. One cop car pulls up. He looks at the situation. He looks around, left, right. He gets back to his car and speeds off. I'm like, what the fuck? He busts a right and speeds off. Three more cops come. Cop cars. Two more cop cars come. They just drive by. I'm like, all right. Like, what the fuck is going on? They're not going to help address us, nothing. Another cop car comes. That nigga speeds through. That nigga didn't want nothing to do with this. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it was a shootout somewhere or some shit. Nigga did not give a fuck about no uh car accident. I just, like, how long ago was this again? Are you the insurance company? I can't tell you all of that. But anyways. um, So, yeah, then another cop car comes, chat. So, basically, another cop car comes. They stop him. They're like, yo, you see the car accident? Blah, blah, blah. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's coming for you. Don't worry. Uh, Basically, nigga, five hours, seven hours later, nigga, no cops came. The cops don't give a fuck, nigga. Like, I'm happy, though. That was my, and it was in the bad name, but that was my lucky day because I could not have them niggas on my ass, bro. Yeah. I could not have them niggas on my ass, bro. So, I was basically a lucky day. The fuck? New York cops useless? Bro, I do not live in New York. But anyways, excuse you? Uh, but anyways, what happens next? Oh yeah, so her son finally came, like for me, like an hour later, whatever the case. He was like, "Yeah, just swap information. I swap him from him, giving my mom and man, I mean, that's the shit on his shirt and all that. I mean, I get her information, and then they drive off because they car still works, mind you. My car is total, nigga. It cannot drive. It cannot do nothing. Oh, mind you, when I got out the car, like fifteen minutes later, that shit started moving back. I, I left it on because I couldn't turn it off and I did, I forgot to put it in park. I just seen it smoking, so I was like, nah, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Why that shit start moving back? Two other niggas had to hold me and another nigga had to hold it like this. And then another nigga came held it. Then I got in the car, put that bitch in park. That shit almost crashed into like two more cars. I can't lie. Like that ass. And then we had to push it all the way to like a curb to the side of the curb so I could just get out of traffic. Cause my shit was in the middle of traffic. Say, bro, why you burping in my mic in my ear? Cause that's what I do. You look like you smell like shit. So, so yeah. Anyways, then after that, what happened after that? Then after that, I was waiting for fucking hours, bro. I was waiting for hours for the insurance and the toll companies. I was like, bro, I was really standing in a brick ass cold for like four or five hours, dark. Uh, niggas making drug deals right next to me. Niggas is uh robbing niggas right next to me in that neighborhood. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm just in my broken car smelling smoke and shit. I had a panic attack. Yeah, everybody was panicking. Cap. Nah, I put that on everything. But yeah, let me show you how to call. And then my, like, my neck to this day about to feel like it's about to fall off, bro. Hold on. Bro, I gotta go to Gmail. So yeah, and that's why I didn't stream that day. That's why I haven't streamed the weekend. Then I had to go to the hospital. Why the fuck I went to the hospital? And they had me in that bitch for eight fucking hours. They had me in the hospital for fucking eight hours. They had me in a wheelchair. They put me in a fucking donut machine. Took my scans and everything. Like, it just been a long ass week, chat. Can't lie. I couldn't go to work. I lost bread. Like, shit was, shit was sick. And I think they just took the car today. Oh, yeah, I'm about to show you a little look. I'm about to show you right now. That's man long. It is man long. I expect it to be in the hospital for like four or five hours. That's just like, bro, they just, when you go to a doctor enough, you just expect certain shit. But now, now it was just crazy. I mean, this is just a quick video. This is just a quick video, but look, you can see. You can see both airbags come out. I mean, you can see both airbags out. You can see the front of the shit fucked up. I mean, airbags? I don't even know, nigga. They felt like the airbags. Like, it didn't really hurt me. I don't know. Maybe it did hurt me. Because my neck hurt, nigga. Maybe I had wet blood. I don't fucking know what happened, bro. Look at my whole bottom lip hanging off, nigga. Look at my whole bottom lip hanging off. And look. Look at the windshield crack. Glad you're okay. I appreciate you getting Yeah, And this is um them over there. It was okay too. It didn't hit the pole, by the way. But yeah, the side of her shit got dented, but it was still drivable. It was an old lady. Feel me? Me and the old lady, we wasn't mad at each other. It wasn't hostile. We were just glad we was all alright and shit. Feel me? 
man, the car might be fucked up, but you straight, and that's really what matters. Exactly, that shit is materialistic. We can pay that shit off. We can get a new one. It don't really fucking matter. You should have rocked that, bit. bro. What is wrong with you, nigga? But yeah, so she that street look. See, I'm going. See, this street they have the right of way. We could just keep driving. And then she came from the right. Like this road that she's at right here, coming from this way, is a stop sign. You supposed to film me? But it's like it's whatever, bro. At this point. Should have jumped the kid on the side. The kids was dead crying at first. He's like, why did this happen? I was like, damn, I feel bad as fuck. <laughs> I I know, but they was even injured, nigga. When I was a little kid and got a car accident, nigga, I had to go straight to the hospital, nigga. I had to go to chiropractor. I had to get muscle therapy. I know we have some dickhead behind the wheel, but hop off. A lot of people don't know how to drive where we live at. Bro, but yeah, so basically... This is what the fuck happened, chat. This is the story of the car accident and all of that. And yeah, any other questions or no? Well, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Tell my blessings on one hand, but I'm grateful. When I make it home, look to the sky and I say thank you. I peeked the snakes up in the grass, I couldn't play cool. If they put the up and leave, nigga, they was mental.